Hello, my buddies. Welcome to a video with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today, we'll discuss a little bit about Windows Labs, what it is, and how to set it up. All links will be in the description box below along with timestamps so you can skip to the sections you want. Also, I have a course on into migration with ABM, Apple Business Manager, for iOS devices that you can purchase if you are having trouble with your migration and need a little help. Anyway, let's get on with the video. To start, Windows Labs or Windows Local Administrator Password Solution is a Windows feature that automatically manages and backs up the password of a local administrator account on your Microsoft Entra joined or Windows Server Active Directory joined devices. You can also use Windows Labs to automatically manage and back up the directory services Restore Mode, DSRM, account password on your Windows Server Active Directory domain controllers. However, we'll mainly focus on setting up Windows Labs for Entra joint computers in this video. But I think you can definitely figure out for your hybrid joint computer once the video is over. Labs has been available on Microsoft for many years. It is used to manage password of a specified local administrator account by regularly rotating the password and backing it up to AD. Labs has proven itself to be an essential and robust building block for AD enterprise security on premises. Microsoft refers to this older Labs product as legacy Labs, but as mentioned, we'll stick to talking about Windows Labs, especially for intra join computers. Now, why would you want to use Windows Labs? Using Windows Labs to regularly rotate and manage local administrator account passwords can help you protect against past the hash and lateral traversal attacks. Because using Windows Labs randomizes and stores local administrator passwords, this reduces an adversary's ability to move laterally with local accounts that shared the same password. Pass the hash is a credential theft and lateral movement technique in which an attacker abuses the NTLM authentication protocol to authenticate as a user without ever obtaining the account's plain text password. Improve security for remote help desk scenarios. If you happen to give remote users the password to one of the Windows Labs accounts, you don't have to worry that the users will be able to use the password again next time. Have the ability to sign in to and recover devices that are otherwise inaccessible. Create and maintain a fine-grained security model, access control list, and optional password encryption for securing passwords that are stored in Windows Server Active Directory. Support for the intro role based access control model for securing passwords that are stored in Microsoft Entra ID, meaning that not everyone can access the passwords. Before we start, you need a minimum of the Intune Administrator and Cloud Device Administrator role. If you configure Windows Labs to manage a custom local account, you must ensure that the account is created because Windows Labs doesn't create the account, which I will share how later in this video. Here's the breakdown of the Windows Labs setup. First, enable Labs on Microsoft Entra. Next, create and configure the Windows Labs policy with Intune. Last but not least, create a local account and add it to the administrator group if you are not using the built-in administrator account. First, let's enable Labs on Microsoft Entra if you haven't already. This is where your account will need the Cloud Device Administrator role. Open Entra Identity, go to Devices, Overview, Device Settings. Select Yes to enable Microsoft Entra Local Administrator Password Solution, and don't forget to save afterward. Next, let's create and configure Windows Labs policy with Intune. First, open Intune. Then go to Endpoint Security, Account Protection. Click Create Policy to create a new policy. Select the platform Windows 10 and later and the Profile Local Admin Password Solution. Give the profile a name, for example, Windows Labs, and give it a brief description. 
Under configuration settings, we will need to configure the following settings at a minimum. Backup directory. Backup the password to Azure AD only since we're in an intra join environment. Enable password H days, leaving a default of 30 days, but you can go up to 365 days. If not specified for the administrator account name, the built-in local administrator account will be used. So if you want to use a custom local admin account, then you'll state it here. I'll show you how to create the custom account later. Password complexity. Choose one of the options. If not specified, the setting will default to four, which is large letters plus small letters plus numbers plus special characters. Because I don't want to have to guess what the default setting is when reviewing this policy at a later time. Under password length, the default is 14, and you can change it. The minimum is 8. Set post authentication actions to reset password and log off the managed account because that's the default if not configured. Again, I don't want to be guessing what the default is later on, so I'm just going to select it here. The allowed post authentication actions are intended to help limit the amount of time a Windows Labs password can be used before it's reset. Signing out of the managed account or restarting the device are options that help ensure the time is limited. As a security disclaimer from Microsoft, a malicious user who acquires administrative privileges on a device using a valid Windows Labs password does have the ultimate ability to prevent or circumvent these mechanisms. Finally, there's the post authentication reset delay. Use this setting to specify the amount of time in hours to wait after an authentication before executing the specified post authentication actions above. If not specified, the setting defaults to 24 hours. 24 hours is way too long in my opinion, so I'm going to put 8 hours here as people on average only work 8 hours a day. So you should be able to do any troubleshooting that's needed within that 8 hours and get a new password the next 8 hours. Now, of course, you can make it even less if you're allowed to in your environment. Just have to be mindful of the balance between security and productivity. You can skip the scope tags. Under assignments, click add groups to add a group of devices on which you want to deploy Windows Labs. I'd recommend to deploy to a task group first to ensure success before deploying to the actual group or for all devices. Anyway, review the settings and create the new policy. If you're using the built-in administrator account, then just be sure to enable that account with Intune configuration profile because it comes disabled by default and then your setup is done. Don't forget to deploy the policy and profile to a task group of devices and not all devices to ensure that they work correctly before you assign them to all. After you've created and assigned the policy, it can take some time before it's deployed to all the assigned endpoints. You can force the synchronization of the policy on the Intune Admin Center by opening a device and clicking Sync. To view the progress of the rollout, go back to Endpoint Security on Intune under Account Protection, open the Windows Labs policy, and click on View Report. If you want to create a custom local administrator account, then continue to step three. Okay, for step three, let's create a local account and add it to the administrator group via Intune. Now, before we walk through the process and scripts on how to create the local account via Intune, I want to make a disclaimer that I didn't create these scripts. I got them from Matej.guru. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Sorry if I'm not. I'll include a link to his blog post down below. First, we'll create a local account by going to Intune, Devices, Scripts and Remediations. Click Create, put in the name and description, and Next. There are two scripts that you will need, Detection and Remediation. Detection is used to detect if the user account exists, and Remediation is what to do 
if the detection script exits with a failure code. A remediation script only runs if the detection script uses exit code exit1, meaning the issue was detected. Matej is using Hulk as his local admin user account here, but you can use whatever you want for your situation. If your corporate office is cool with Charizard, then feel free. Anyway, just copy and paste his scripts into two notepads and save them as two separate PowerShell files. Adjust them to fit your environment and upload the two files. Once you've uploaded the detection script, you should see the script in the detection script field. Confirm the script is correct and do the same for the remediation script. Don't worry about the password section of the remediation script. It's just for the account creation part. Once Labs is active, it will auto set the password on its own. Set no for run this script using the logon credentials and enforce script signature check. Set yes for run script in 64-bit PowerShell. Assign this to your device task group. Next, we will add the account to the administrators group by going to Endpoint Security, Account Protection, create a new policy for local user group membership if you don't have one. Select Add, select Manual under the User Selection type. You're selecting Manual instead of Users slash Groups because this account is not an intra user account. Anyway, click Add Users and type in the local account name you just created. If you set Charger as your local admin account earlier, then you put it here. Assign this policy to your task group and that's it. You're done with the setup. Once Windows Labs is working correctly, the Labs password can be viewed from either Intune or Entra ID. For my Windows Labs account, it looks like this. Another option is to use PowerShell, but that will require additional configuration with Microsoft Graph. I'll include the link to the Microsoft article on how to set it up for you to use PowerShell. Finally, it's worth noting the following. Windows Labs doesn't require you to install the legacy Labs. You can wait for the Windows Labs policy to automatically rotate the account password, or you can rotate it by going to Intune, select on the device. Select the ellipsis or the three horizontal dots. Select Rotate Local Admin Password, and yes to rotate the password manually. Windows Labs support only one account per device, so creating two Windows Labs is not recommended and may not be possible. Intune is not needed in order to use Windows Labs. It's supported to deploy and use Windows Labs in either Active Directory or Microsoft Entra mode without Intune. Intune does provide many benefits though to the Windows Labs scenario, for example, policy deployment at scale, monitoring, and password reset action support. Devices that are joined only to Microsoft Entra ID can back up passwords only to Microsoft Entra ID and not the on-prem AD. Devices that are hybrid joined, joined to both Microsoft Entra ID and Windows Server AD can back up their passwords either to Microsoft Entra ID or to Windows Server AD. You cannot back up passwords to both Microsoft Entra ID and Windows Server AD. Windows Labs doesn't support Microsoft Entra Workplace Join Clients, aka Entra Registered. Finally, when a device is deleted in Microsoft Entra, the Labs credentials that are tied to that device is lost, and the password that is stored in Microsoft Entra ID is lost. Unless you have a custom workflow to retrieve Labs password and store them externally, there's no method in Microsoft Entra ID to recover the Labs managed password for a deleted device. Anyway, I hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free and put it down below. Thank you again for watching this video and have yourself a nice day or night wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.